Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agreement Soft Research Company and I'm here to teach you how to use SWAT outputs. So in my previous videos, you have um, seen how to run SWAT model, how to prepare the layers, the informations and the input um, like things for SWAT model and how to run it. So now I just want to show you what to do with the SWAT outputs and how you can see that uh, what is this model doing. So you just want to open the SWAT project folder. So for here, I just want to open this one. You can see three folders at the raster store, uh, IDB, scenarios, and watershed. You go to scenarios, default. You can see some folders out there. The texting out folder is all your outputs, uh, is all your SWA outputs. So open texting out and you can see lots of files there. Go down, 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 and you see some folders named output. So here you can see output and you go for the type. So there's the output for the HRU um, segments. So you can see outputs for each HRU of your model. Here you can see the output for rich. And here you can see the output, the standard file, std file. Um, we have a lot of work with this steady, um, standard file and uh, HRU file. So I just open the standard file and let's see what we have here. Here you can see the general input output section file CO. Number of years in run, 23 years. Area of watershed, you can see. And then, uh, first you see annual summary for watershed in year one of simulation. But why don't we have any data for these two first years of simulation? Because this was the warm up period. In the warm up peri period, SWAT so runs the model but doesn't print any but doesn't print any output for you. So this is why it's empty. Then you go for the year three of the simulation and you can see some parameters there. Per so first of all is the precipi preci precipitation. You can see the numbers for each month. So for the third year of simulation, you have um, annual summary. You have summary for each month. Precipitation. Then surface queue or surface runoff. Then the lateral queue, groundwater queue, percolation, tile queue, SWET, PET, water yield, and other things which are the quality parameters also. You can uh, read about all of them in the SWAP manual, uh, in the output segment of the SWAP manual. So I will show you how to have it right. And now I will show you how to go for it. You just want to go SWAP.tamu.edu. And then you go for docs. And then that's there. So add output files. Okay, you can see them all. The output summary file output.std. And you can see all of them lateral queue, precipitation. GWQ, percolation, and all other things. So, 
In the end of this file, you can see some other parameters too. For example, here you can see average annual basing stress days, water stress days, temperature stress days, nitrogen stress days, phosphorus, and all other things. And here, average annual basing values. So the precipitation, the annual average for the for, for all the basin, you can see the numbers. Then you can see the nutrients and the quality things, and that's it for this file. So that's the standard output file of the swap model. And another thing I um, wanted to show you here is the output in the HRU file. So you just open it. And then here, you can see these values like these parameters for all HRUs in the runtime. So that's a very accurate and detailed file which is very used for um, like researchers and um, you just want to have an eye on it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you understood what to do with this SWAT output. Of course, it was a very like um, nutshell um, video, but I just wanted to show you what um, you should do after you have um, like run your SWAT model. In the next videos, I will talk about how to calibrate your SWAP model because now when you have just executed the SWAP model, um, the, the, the outputs are not that accurate and sometimes you need a very serious calibration process in order to be able to use the outputs. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all learned new things and I will see you in the next video and bye.